Hi, today I'm going to show you the exact steps how to control an LAD connected to a GPIO pin of a Raspberry Pi using JavaScript. This is actually the easiest thing to do with a Raspberry Pi and an LAD. Is JavaScript the best language for controlling GPI opens? In general, definitely not. If you're looking for high performance, C should be the language of your choice. But JavaScript is easy to use, easy to learn, and a lot of developers already know it. It is popular among web developers, so it's a good option for Internet of Things. For this tutorial, I need a Raspberry Pi. I'm using Model 2, but the same result can be achieved with any other model or version. The rest of the hardware components are a power supply, micro SD card with Raspbian GNU Linux distribution, an LAD, a resistor, and a couple of female to male jumper wires. Regarding the resistor, bigger resistance leads to less brighter light. There is a color coding scheme which determines the electrical resistance of each resistor. Pick the one that suits you best. Now, let's do the wiring. One of the jumper wires should be connected to ground which is on pin 6 of Raspberry Pi. The other wire goes to pin 7 where is GPIO 4. The resistor should be on the breadboard between it and the LAD. Please note that the new Raspberry Pi models such as 0, 2 and 3 have 40 pins while version A and B of the first model have 26 pins. For this tutorial we are using only pins 6 and 7 therefore you can do the same on any model and version of Raspberry Pi. When you are ready with the wiring plug the micro SD card and boot Raspberry Pi. Ensure that the board is connected to the internet. Now we need to set up the software for our development environment. I have logged in to my Raspberry Pi through SSH. You can do the same or just open a terminal application on the Pi itself. I have already installed Node.js and Node Package Manager. After that, using Git, I'm cloning the source code of my open source examples from GitHub. The next step is to go into the directory of the examples and to run npm install in order to get all required dependencies. Finally, I have to run sudo node.js let.js. The result will be a blinking LAD. How does it work? Let's have a look at the source code which is available in GitHub. The JavaScript file LAD.js is executed by Node.js and its dependencies are installed by npm depending on the configuration from package.json. This example relies on package wiring pi, which provides JavaScript binding to the popular open source C library wiring pi. Our JavaScript sets a timer which changes a pin from high to low on every second. The tricky part is the pin numbering scheme. Have a look at the documentation of wiring pi, see library for details. Thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and have a look at some of the other do-it-yourself videos.